Rico with Traders Help Desk, and we have the non-farm employment change numbers today. And I just wanted to go through real quickly what I think the market's going to do. I do think we're going to get upward movement on the euro dollar. Um, we are going to get a retracement, and I think the retracement's going to end up um, prior to the announcement, I think it will end up retracing back to about 1700 um, And then I think it's going to bounce off of that level. Now, um, we have a lot of divergence. You can see it in this column. And that tells me it's volume divergence. In other words, as these are making lows, sellers are decreasing um, on the red divergences as new highs were made the buyers decreased you also have a lot of really high adx values uh, on the british pound yen you have a 96 on the british pound dollar you have 82 on the higher time frames which is the 240 you also have very high values as well as on the euro british pound and to the point of being overextended as well on the USD Swiss franc. Now you can see because these are dark, then we already have a magenta peak. That's what the dark is telling me. So if I go and look at these charts, so this is the British pound dollar. I'm expecting a retracement actually up to about 3106 at least maybe a uh, little bit higher on the Aussie dollar. Let it load. You can see that we're bouncing off of this. This is what I'm expecting on the Euro as well as the British pound. I do think the Aussie is going to go up. If you look at the US CAD, It takes a minute because I'm loading multiple time frames here. You can see that you have just now broken these two levels of support. I think it might go back up in test. I think that test is going to be around 2590. And then I think it will come down on the USD Swiss franc. You can see it's formed an area of resistance here. And I'm expecting this to come back down as well on the USD yen. Pretty much the same thing. You can see that we were making higher highs, but now we have started to go down. I do anticipate it to go down further, uh, and I'm waiting to see what happens when it does. Um, if I shrink this up a little bit, you'll actually see why I believe it's going to go down. And you can see that we have a lot of support underneath it, but we have also made major highs. So I'm actually expecting this to come down to 112.70, maybe even 112.50. To push it down that far, we're going to need the non-farm employment to do it. So again, it, looking at these, we're gonna have some major moves, but I think they're going to be retracement moves and I think they're really going to push this market in the opposite direction of what it's going right now. So here you see that this has been moving down, have a lot of trend divergence in here. I do expect this to go up to about 148, maybe 148.30. So that's what I'm anticipating this morning.